what you guys got another video here for you on how to clean compound from a CPU pretty straightforward and easy to do got asked this question the other day and I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how it's not that difficult uh, you can use any sort of isopropanol uh, product you can get that online 99% 70% anything like that will be good enough to clean compound on here there is CPU cleaning um, compound solutions two of them which I'll show you on the screen right now you can use those as well if you wish they're pretty good at getting the uh, compound off but anyway something like this is all you really need really and these are just uh, you know isopropanol uh, alcohol wipes which you can uh, reseal once you've uh, finished using them and uh, it comes in a little sealable packet so you can reseal it and this stops them from drying out you might want to get yourself a a rubber glove or something like that they do smell of alcohol these that's because they're for medical use but these are still okay to use and what you want to do is just give that a good clean all the way around and because it's uh, got alcohol on it it will dry pretty much instantly and uh, we're going to clean this all off here and you can see how clean that is already coming uh, coming up and this stuff works really really well uh, whether you want to use uh, the cotton buds to get around the edges you can do some people want to clean off the surplus before they start using the wipe itself the good thing about these is they're disposable and uh, you get just the right amount of isopropanol on there or alcohol and you can spend a bit more time cleaning it what I'm doing here but basically it's good enough to clean motherboard and all around the CPU area as well if you want to clean the motherboard you can do with this sort of stuff but I tend to use um, these sort of wipes I normally use 100% uh, or 99.9% um, isopropanol uh, for that and also the spray which I've shown you before but you can see here now that's got rid of all of the compound from there give it a good clean and there's some down the edges there which I'll get off right now okay so we give that a little clean up here good thing about these wipes is you can reseal them afterwards and that stops the uh, stops the moisture uh, getting out so stops them drying out and uh, of course these are isopropanol if you're worrying uh, that they're not isopropanol they are isopropanol alcohol wipes and of course you can get 99.9% ones if you want also pads like these are useful uh, the, you don't want the ones that are you know that are going to be fibrous that are going to let any sort of fibers off on the actual uh, chip itself so you just uh, buff up and clean up afterwards around the edge and I'll try to leave the CPU in the socket a little bit just to stop it from getting damaged or anything like that. And then once you've got that all nice and clean, you're good enough to reapply your thermal compound. And again, you can spend more time. And you're trying to get all the, all the actual uh, compound off. And you'll be surprised how much compound is still on there, even though we've cleaned it. You want to get a nice clean surface and away you go and there you go nice and clean hands are clean and these gloves here are pretty much just the standard uh, cheap gloves you can buy so they're the gloves you can use so these are the sort of gloves you want to get and uh, they're the ones that you can use for this type of uh, work now to remove any sort of debris or dust from here you can use uh, isopropanol wipes or isopropanol pads or any of that sort of stuff uh, you can use those as well what you don't want to be using is what I see a lot of youtubers recommending is this stuff don't be using this this is general WD-40 this is a lubricant and it's also uh, highly flammable so you don't want to be using this stuff I've seen people spraying this onto the board don't ever uh, put that on the board it's gonna 
also attract dust. Yes, it will go shiny, it will look nice and clean, but it is conductive and it can cause uh, problems. The stuff you want to use is this stuff. This is the stuff you want. It's WD-40, uh, but it's fast drying contact cleaner and it's meant for uh, electrical components and you can spray it on into, uh, you can see here, power supplies, all sorts of stuff. And it's not conductive, dries pretty instant, and you can see here circuitry and stuff like that. This is the sort of stuff you want to be using when you're cleaning and when you want to uh, clean out any sort of USB ports here or anything like that. You can spray that directly into the port and it won't cause any problems. If you start using this stuff, you're going to run into major problems and of course that's going to uh, run the risk of uh, one, attracting dust to stick to it and two, uh, even uh, causing some sort of shorting or anything like that because it is conductive, okay? And this stuff's pretty simple. You just uh, point it in that direction and keep it upright and then you can just push this button and then it's just going to, you know, clean. As you can see there. I'm not going to spend too much time on it but you can see here instantly dry and it gives a nice clean and you can go inside these uh, channels here no problem at all it's not going to cause a problem but what you want to do is just basically spray that all on this area around here okay running out of that and you can see the general idea it gets it nice and clean and you can run around with a cleaning pad if you wish and go along and clean it up and get rid of all the dust and stuff like that. Pretty straightforward and easy to do, okay? As you can see, everything is all cleaned up okay. Didn't spend too much time on it, just give it a, a little clean up. And uh, you can see here, it's a pretty high-end board and high-end uh, bit of equipment, still uh, usable today, DDR4, also uh, Socket 2011, which is a very sought after motherboard, so I'm pretty sure once I list this, it will go very quickly. I'll probably sell this as is, chip uh, ram and also the board as well and let that go as it is and let it and let someone get some use out of it um, and that's about it anyway that's going to be about it for this video that's basically how you can clean the compound off of a cpu and also clean up the board in general and uh, you should be pretty much good to go once you get that sorted out it's a great way of uh, cleaning up stuff and reselling if you want to make this look quite nice it's a good way of doing that Anyway, that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.